What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You won't believe what I just had to play. Just I saw it in my library. I said, you know what? I haven't checked this game out in a while. I wonder if it still plays in virtual reality. And lo and behold, Lou Ross's Mafia 3 Real VR mod still works. Using an earlier version, uh, frankly, I'm a little scared to try out his latest real VR mod. Uh, I know it's universal amongst all his titles that he has transformed into a full stereos uh, stereoscopic 3D VR experience. But uh, with the takedown notices and all that stuff with uh, Take-Two Interactive, I didn't want to risk using his latest mod because it might not work or something and it might screw something up and this is another game that i have heavily modded so i'm not about to reinstall the game and try to re-download the mods i'm just uh i'm just yeah i'm too uh i'm too modded out at this point i need to take it seriously a long 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 break from the modding scene for a while and just enjoy games just for the sake of enjoying games and play it the way it's meant to be played unless it's skyrim or something or fallout but yeah they don't count but all right um this, god i i never really realized how beautiful this game looks in vr it's crazy looking definitely one of the one of the best uh vr adaptations luke has implemented into the uh into his uh virtual reality compatible uh gaming list so quite impressed still looks good and i'm only playing in the standard 2160 because i can't go any higher so and it still looks still looks really good so, all right, I have a fickle mod on this. It's a toggle, some kind of HUD toggle mod where you just press the right directional pad on your on your gaming, uh, on your Xbox controller or either that or depending on which controller you're using, the PlayStation controller, PS4, PS5, it's compatible with Steam VR, but I prefer the xbox controller i had the playstation controller for a little while but i don't know it just kind of it, it just feels a little more natural and native using an xbox controller i guess from an ergonomic standpoint i don't know all right let me see if i can oh there it is okay wow this looks beautiful is that a parking lot? this is really cool I have no idea where I'm supposed to go though, but I haven't played this in so long. The sky textures don't look all that great, but everything else looks phenomenal. I turned the bloom off. And I turned down the uh the occlusion. Ambient occlusion, I think it's called. Ambient occlusion. The only thing I kept on high is maybe like textures and coarse reflections but that's about it shadows i knocked down to like either low or maybe medium they still look okay they're decent all right so let me see let me get into this car see if i can all right and my head is a little too high hold on a second okay i think that's what i have to no how do i all right that's how i do it um let me Tweak the offset. Uh, where is it? Uh, this, hopefully that'll do it. Uh, it's still a little too high. Um, Alright. I 
just get a little nervous when I'm in pause in the pause menu because it just it turns flat. No, I keep forgetting it's the two triggers. Okay. Two notches down, I think. I should do it. Yeah, all right, that's good enough. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. It's the left pad where you can change the view. Let's go. Let me see. Where's the map here? No. Damn. Okay. I think I'm supposed to go here. Delray Hollow. All right. This story mission. Yeah, I didn't get very far in this. I don't know how smooth it's going to be. Fortunately, whenever I hit the HUD toggle button, it removes the, the signs, the directions. The directional icons, which points to where I'm supposed to be going. I wish I could keep that, but turn everything else off. Briar Patch. 
Look at this guy. Yeah, the car handling handling's not the greatest. Get out now. Okay, X. I forgot how to. No. How do I? Okay, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not used to playing. Okay, that's the. I see. The stealth mechanic here. Okay, why is it jump? Get beat up. Get in there, bust him up. What you going to do? They fucking that dude up. Death. Get in there, bust him uh. up. What you gonna do, uh. huh? What? I forgot which button it is. Oh, there it is. It's the B button. It's so weird being like an inch away from Lincoln Clay here. That wasn't no squirrel. That wasn't no squirrel. What's going on over there? Well, why don't you come on and find out? Stop fucking around. What? Yo, I love the fact that the kill cam goes in third person. So cool. But how do I search these guys? Is it why? No. 
No. No. Hmm. Okay, I think it's the direction of the home button. Yeah, there we go. You know, that would be so cool if Hitman 3 was like this. Must have skedaddled. Y'all hear that? S Get ready. Skedaddle. That's a that's Where an old school term. <laughs> What's four finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. Okay, now what? Rest in peace, asshole. What? Oh, I didn't want to kill him. Oh, okay. So much for that. be that's my um, weapons menu oh sweet oh I forgot that's that's really cool I can aim with my head Where's the heroin? Ain't no heroin in here. You know, I can't really play in first person. This just feels too awkward. Now I'm wondering how how do I change it back to third? Camera rotation compensation. What's that all about?
Yeah, I don't know. It's not showing. Come on, boy. This guy's walking so slow. Where he come from? I'm calling the cops. Oh, no, you ain't. Somewhere. Damn. What the hell is this lady doing here? <laughs> it feels like I'm really peeking around a corner now. It's so bizarre. Hey there, Lincoln. Feel a little awkward being a literal inch away from your face. Take that. Oh, no, I wanted the silencer. I th what happened to the other gun? That's weird.
about that. Call a second chance. Now get lost. Show yourself. <laughs> this guy's so stupid. You better not be fucking with me. Yeah, the AI is not too, uh, not too bright. Oh shit. Oh, there's something on up on the roof. I was crying. <laughs> yeah, the control of the wonky. Show up sometime. Oh, the hell? Okay, well, that's not YouTube friendly. Huh? 
All right. I'm going to have to turn this off then. I can't play it. <laughs> I didn't know they were like topless um, prostitutes, I guess. In a, wait, topless prostitutes, drug done. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. But, yeah. It's not YouTube friendly. I can't really, it's really hard to see them, but still, I don't want to risk it. I hope, I hope it can't be seen on the video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a test anyways. That's, I, just, I was just really curious to see if these VR mods still work with the Mafia Trilogy. I'll probably check out one and two uh, probably some other time, although I, it probably will work. Uh, I've been dying to finish at least the first Mafia, which I've never, never finished, unfortunately. One of these days, I definitely got to get around to that. All right, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. And as always, if you enjoy my content, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to my channel and click the notifications as well. All right, with that said, take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.